Okay, today we're going to be learning about the standard algorithm used for multiplying multi-digit numbers. In the past, we've used the open area model to keep track of our values that we're multiplying. Um, four groups of 500, that's going to be 20 hundredths, which is 2,000. Four groups of four tens, which is going to be 16 tens, which we know to be 160. Four times seven, plain old 28, right? Multiply all the partial answers, partial products together, and we get our final product of 2,188. We can also sometimes use a stacked our numbers to keep and multiply them that way, keeping track of the values as we went. Four times seven was 28. Four groups of four tens, it's gonna be 16 tens, which is 160. Four groups of 500, that's gonna be 20 hundreds, right? Which is 2,000 adding all of those up together, and we get our final product of 2,188. Again, let's go ahead and take what we know from this and bring it to the standard form algorithm for multi-digit multiplication. It's a bit of a shortcut, and what's really happening is instead of seeing your numbers sort of in this expanded form, the partial products in expanded form, we'll be regrouping them and carrying them along as we solve. So we begin by stacking them as you have before. And we'll start by counting up, multiplying four groups of seven, and that's 28, right? 28 is made of two groups of 10 and eight ones. So let's keep in mind the different place value places that we're working with, even in our, our product and our answer. Four groups of seven is 28, that's two groups of 10 and eight ones. Four groups of four tens, that's gonna be 16 tens plus 17, 18 tens. 18 tens is 180. There's my eight tens and there's my one extra hundred there. Four times four times five hundredths or five, yeah, four, four times five hundredths is gonna be 20 hundredths, but there's one more hundred here, so it's 21 hundredths. We know 20 hundredths is 2,000, and then there's that 100. There's no other numbers in this problem up here to multiply, so I can just bring my 20 hundredths, 2,000s down here, or 20 hundredths down here. So we have the same product, obviously, but you'll see that we don't see all of the values written out showing all their zeros in their expanded form. We will carry them along and keep track of them while we multiply, just like that. 